All right, today we're going to be checking out the Call of Duty games. I got a comment a while back saying that it takes hours to find games. And uh, we're going to test that theory. And as you can see, I have every single Call of Duty game out there on the PS3. The only games we are not going to be testing out is Call of Duty Classic and Call of Duty 3. Because those games are random by chance that you could find somebody. Usually you got to use Discord servers to look for those games. But yeah, let us begin and look for some games right now. Before we start the video, I do got to mention a couple of things. One thing is I'm in the United States, so it's a very popular area for Call of Duty. If you live in a region that's not very populated, chances are you're not going to be able to find a game. The only suggestion I have is to get a VPN. Another thing is, even if you're in the United States, if your net is closed or strict, you might have problems connecting. Trust me, with Black Ops 2, I had a very hard time looking for a game many years ago because my net was strict. And that's one thing you gotta take into consideration. Your net has to be open for you to be able to find games and connect. So keep that in mind when you're searching for games. First game on the list, Call of Duty 4. And I get this stupid error. It's ridiculous and it's stupid and I hated it. So the only way to make this work is you have to be signed out. You have to start the game without any internet. So either if you're wireless or wired, you have to disconnect the internet. For wired, obviously you unplug it from your PS3. And for wireless, you actually have to unplug your router. Yeah, it's ridiculous because if you know anything about unplugging routers, it literally takes a long period of time for it to kind of reboot again, at least a couple of minutes. So I turn on my webcam. I start showing that I'm going to start the game. I start the timer up because I'm using the timer to to show how long it takes me to find a game. This is on purpose because there's going to be some of the other Call of Duty games that I'm going to be fast forwarding it so I could make sure that I'm not, you know, fast forwarding and not showing the actual time. So as you can see, I am loading in and I get into a game in 16 seconds on COD 4. Boom, that fast my guy. All right, we have here World at War, and we're going to be looking for a game. Once again, starting the timer as soon as we hit the Team Deathmatch. Boom, just like that, dude. We're loading in. We're loading in already. That fast, my guy. That fast. Boom, 14 seconds, already in game. Not even that long of a wait. That's how easy it is. Now, Modern Warfare 2, we got here. We're going to do this one, and this one might take a little bit of a while, but it happens. This game is not as popular as you think it is. I think this is the most modded game in all of Call of Duty, so a lot of people don't really play this that much because people seem to just want to make the game miserable for others, so people don't really want to play this. As you can see, 127 easy. So we're already in the game that fast. Black Ops 1. This game, supposedly, what I've heard, is the most popular out of all Call of Duty games. But I, I'm not sure about that. I play this game every once in a while. And we are getting a pretty good time. Keep in mind, we're, we're also considering the loading time, but one minute and nine seconds to get into a game. That's great, dude. That's like heaven right there. Now for Modern Warfare 3, this game is probably the least populated out of all Call of Duty games due to the fact that new PlayStation accounts can't play Modern Warfare 3. So that's one thing to take into consideration. These are all old players, but still we find it at one minute and one second. Black Ops 2, we start looking for this game. This is another game that I think is very low populated as well. Um, I think due to the fact that new PlayStation accounts have a while to log in, but for me, I was able to get it in 42 seconds. Here we have Call of Duty Ghost. We are, this is the video, the exact video that the guy pretty much commented saying that it takes hours to find a game all right well if that's the case let's look for a call of duty ghost game see if it takes me an hour i do have to mention i do this all the time in most call of duty games i back out and search again sometimes doing that 
instantly puts me into an already made game. That's the reason I back out and search again because usually that does help for finding the game sometimes. So there we go. We're already loading in. It's a little bit longer than the other ones, but that's okay. It happens. Sometimes it depends on the day you play, the time you play. And uh, we've got three minutes right there. Three minutes into the game. So pretty nice. Uh, there's no issue as long as I can find a game I'm pretty good here we have advanced warfare we start the timer um, one thing about this game that I find hilarious sometimes sometimes I'll tell you that there's no games found but you'll still load into a game it's funny I don't know why it does that but it's a pretty funny uh, feature in the game I, I think it has to do a lot with trying to just get you connected so advanced warfare it takes me I want to say a little over two minutes just two two and seven seconds it's not too bad as long as I'm not waiting for an hour I'm okay now black ops 3 I didn't realize it but I had a moderate nat type and yeah, it took me three minutes to find a game on Call of Duty Black Ops 2. I think it had to do with the NAT type. NAT type does make a huge difference. So I put forward in my Black Ops 3 game and I got it to get open. And when I looked for a game again, you know, we got a way better result because we were able to find and join a game in less than like literally 20 seconds, my guy. Less than 20 seconds. So yeah, your NAT does make a huge difference, I would know from experience. And look at that, 17 seconds into a game. As you can see, I was able to find games pretty fast. Now, you're probably wondering, that's impossible, I try to find games. Now, keep in mind, I'm in Pacific Time, so I always look for games from 8 o'clock in the morning till like 8 at night. I always find games all the time around those time slots. You do have to realize that I've always had trouble finding games around like 2 in the morning to like 4 in the morning around that time. Uh, it's just that time I could still find games it just takes a little bit longer but I'm not really up at 2 a.m. and four, through like 4 a.m. every day either. I, I was up late so I decided to make some Call of Duty content so that's why I was up that late but usually from around 8 usually from around like 8 a.m. to like 8 p.m. I have no problem finding finding games uh, some of the games that I looked for I was like around 5 p.m. Pacific time and some of the other games like Black Ops 2 and Advanced Warfare I was looking th up those games I was searching for those games around like 8 to 10 p.m. I mean a.m. in the morning 8 through 10 in the morning I was uh, looking for games um, and I still was able to find them and you saw how fast it was for me to find a advanced warfare and black ops 3 game it, it was pretty fast so yeah before I end the video I do have to mention once again it really depends <clears throat> on your region if you're in a region I, I don't know how the games work but I've heard it depends where you live the game is going to try to connect to people near you and that, that makes sense I guess because uh, they don't want you to play in a laggy mess Compared to other games like Street Fighter, Street Fighter I'm able to connect to anybody online, but that's just a one versus one game. These games are really huge, so they want you to have good connectivity, so that's why they make you search for people nearby. And that's one of the reasons why a lot of times when you're searching and you can't find anybody, it's because you probably live in the middle of nowhere. Now, for the people that do live somewhere, your NAT is a really, really, really good like determination on how you could find games. I once had a very moderate and strict net in the past and I will tell you one thing you'll it'll be pretty much hard to find games when you have that type of net especially strict trust me you'll never find a game I did that with Black Ops 2 and I couldn't find anything so make sure your net is open trust me that'll make a huge difference when looking for games online so anyways I hope you guys enjoyed the video until then I'm out. Peace.